Hello and welcome to episode number 16, the last episode of Storytime with Miss O'Donnell. Um, a big shout out today to Jim Muncy for filming and editing all these videos, to my daughter Emily for being my stylist and pet wrangler, and of course to Fizzy, Grisabella, and Coco for always listening nicely to my stories. Thank you to all of you. Today I will be reading a book about two best friends, George and Martha. But before I do, I have to tell you that this is also the last time I will be reading to you as your school librarian. Long before COVID, I had decided to retire and move to Maine to be closer to my only child, Emily. I fully intended to tell you all in person and hug you and enjoy being with you for my last year. That being said, I hope you all know that I will miss you and that I am virtually hugging you. And like I always do on the last day of library every year, I am giving you summer homework. That is to read, read, read. So now, five stories about two good friends, George and Martha. One morning, when George looked out his window, he could scarcely believe his eyes. Martha was walking a tightrope. My stars, cried George. I could never do that. Why not, said Martha. It's tons of fun. But it's so high up, said George. Yes, said Martha. And it's such a long way down, said George. That's very true, said Martha. It would be quite a fall, said George. I see what you mean, said Martha. Suddenly Martha felt uncomfortable. For some reason, she had lost all her confidence. She began to wobble. George realized his mistake. Now he had to do some fast talking. Of course, he said, anyone can see you love walking the tightrope. Yes, said Martha. Certainly, said George. And if you love what you do, you'll be very good at it too. Martha's confidence was restored. Watch this, she said. And Martha did some fancy footwork on her tightrope. Story number two, the diary. Whenever Martha sat down to write in her diary, George was always nearby. Yes, George, said Martha. I was just on my way to the kitchen, said George. Hmm, said Martha. Martha decided to finish writing outdoors. How peculiar, she said to herself. I can still smell George's cologne. Then Martha heard leaves rustling above her. Aha, she cried. You were spying on me. I wanted to see what you were writing in your diary, said George. Then you should have asked my permission, said Martha. May I peek in your diary? asked George politely. No, said Martha. Story number three, the icky story. At lunch, George started to tell an icky story. Martha strongly objected. Please, have some consideration, she said. But George told his icky story, nevertheless. You're asking for it, said Martha. When Martha finished her lunch, she told an icky story. It was so icky that George felt all queasy inside. He couldn't even eat his dessert. You're the champ, 
said George. Don't make me do it again, said Martha. I won't, said George. Look at George's color there. Story number four, The Big Scare. Boo, cried George. Have mercy, screamed Martha. Martha and her stamp collection went flying. I'm sorry, said George. I was feeling wicked. Well, said Martha, now it's my turn. Go ahead, said George. Not right away, said Martha slyly. Suddenly George found it very difficult to concentrate on what he was doing. Any minute now, Martha's going to scare the pants off me, he said to himself. Maybe she's hiding someplace, he said. George made sure Martha wasn't hiding under the sink. During the day, George got more and more nervous. Any minute now, he said. But Martha was relaxing in her hammock. Sorry I forgot to scare you, said Martha. That's all right, said George. It wouldn't have worked anyway. I'm not easily frightened. I know, said Martha. The last story, the amusement park. That evening, George and Martha went to the amusement park. They rode the Ferris wheel. They rode the roller coaster. They rode the bumper cars. They were having a wonderful time. But in the tunnel of love, Martha sat very quiet. It was very, very dark in there. Suddenly, Martha cried. Boo! Have mercy! screamed George. I didn't forget after all, said Martha. So I see, said George. Um, one more P.S. If you want to want to continue to watch the videos I have recorded and shared with you, my daughter's boyfriend, Jim, created a YouTube for Kids channel where you can see them. Go to YouTube for Kids and look for Storytime with Ms. O'Donnell, where they all will be. Goodbye and be well.